I'm Ms. Grace Monde Mubalu, the head teacher, St. Joseph's. I came from Zimba and I've taken over from Sister Rosalia Sakayombo, a Holy Spirit sister, who is now the Superior General of the Holy Spirit Sisters. But I found that actually the Holy Spirit Sisters are working well with the managing agents who are the RSHMs. Apart from the RSHMs, we have another component of chaplains, which is under Father Spencer, who is also representing the Diocese of Monze, representing the bishop also, just like the managing agents, the RSHMs. So the coordination among these three groups are making work very easy here at St. Joseph's. Like this time during the outbreak of the COVID pandemic, we are very grateful that actually the sisters have contributed a lot of money to assist us to buy the detergents, the sanitizers, even mattresses for the infirmary. So this cordial relationship we are enjoying it's something we appreciate very much, and I hope it will continue to see the church grow in the Diocese of Monze. Thank you so much. I am Father Spencer Nyendwa, a diocesan priest for Monze. I am working in St. Joseph's chaplaincy. St. Joseph's is a very well-known secondary school for girls, which has 750 girls from grade 8 to grade 12 in boarding. In St. Joseph's, as chaplain, I represent the Diocese of Monze. But in St. Joseph, equally, the managing agency are the RSHM sisters, and who are assisted in administration by the Holy Spirit sisters. So there is a beautiful blend of three families here in St. Joseph's looking after the girls in secondary school, the girl child in secondary school in a boarding school. So chaplaincy is not restricted to the children in school. I am also chaplain of the school community, the families that are working in the school, at the clinic, and also at the basic school. So, and the people have access to me when I am in the office and on campus. So, chaplaincy, apart from giving spiritual direction and responding to the spiritual welfare of the people, is all encompassing. I am responding in the best possible way to the needs of the people in Chivuna. I am Sister Teresa Nyakawere, a religious sister of the Holy Spirit. I work at St. Joseph Secondary School as a teacher. I teach grade 8, 9 and 12. I prepare the girls for the national examinations very well. And apart from teaching at St. Joseph's, I'm in the guidance and counseling office. Um, to give guidance to pupils and to counsel those who are in need of the counseling services, those with emotional and uh, emotional pains that they're experiencing. I'm a Sister Elito Tabe da Silva, knowing Sister Nita. I'm a Sister of Sacred Heart of Mary Sisters. We work here in St. Joseph with the Holy Spirit sisters and also with the diocese. This history don't start just now. We have a long history some time ago. We are the first sisters to form the Sisters of the Holy Spirit in the beginning. We start with his Sister Catherine Dan. Yes, we work for 20 years together, hand to hand, and that friendship that relationship is up to now as we build our beautiful girls in St. Joseph. We have just one goal as the sisters, either from Holy Spirit and Sacred Heart of Mary, sisters and the diocese. Our goal is to proclaim the word of God and bring values in education as we teach these girls. 
they are for us a precious gift. It's not only about business or work or education itself, but it's about values, Christian's values. I'm very happy to be part of this family, Sacred Heart of Mary, as well to be friend of the Holy Spirit sisters. We joke among us that we are mother for them because we have a beautiful relationship. We work together and you follow Christ in the same manners. People who know us very well cannot see much difference among us because we really move together. And each time when we wake up and see the beautiful smile in our girls and the nice results, we know it's the grace of God and the hard work. That is us always. Thank you very much. I am here to give pastoral care to the children coming from all over the country. Education as we know it is complemented very much by the pastoral care given to the pupils. The motto for St. Joseph's is education for integral development. They are not only taught academic subjects, but they are also formed. And formation is coordinated by the chaplaincy office. Chaplaincy responds to the everyday needs of the pupils. There are growth needs, girls describing and going through the challenge of the teenage years. They are able to receive support from the chaplaincy. In chaplaincy also, we help the children to keep in touch with their faith. Here, we have a deep respect for the girls who belong to various Christian denominations. The moment they step their foot in St. Joseph's, they are informed and helped to appreciate the various religious or church congregations where they belong. But here in St. Joseph's, we bring them together to be able to form them to appreciate each other's faith, but also that they will appreciate the school they have come to as a Catholic school. So I help the girls with counseling skills in order to empower them for the future and to help them make decisions that will help their lives in the future. And apart from uh, counseling the girls, I also help with the catechism in the school because as a sister of the Holy Spirit, I believe that I'm called to reach out to the girls um, both uh, in academics, uh, emotionally, and in their spiritual lives. So when it comes to their spiritual lives, I teach catechism at the school so that they get to learn more about God um, and be able to make decisions for their way of life. And um, I also help the girls to descend their vocations through vocation promotion. We have created a club uh, and this club is here to help the girls become aware of their own vocations and be able to choose the right way of life. It does not only look at the way of life for the sisters, but it also helps to look at the way of life, uh, the single life and also married life. In the preaching, we are very careful to pass on the Christian message. The children are helped and supported to grow in responsibility because this is a big thing among the girls as they assume leadership later on in their lives. Chaplaincy has to look after the house of God. This is the place of refuge for the girls. Ought to look after the church because sometimes it is the only place a girl will come to sit and cry and be comforted. So we have renovated the church, but we are still a long way because we will need benches. Benches that are comfortable, that will also contribute to the beauty of the church. The house of God ought to be beautiful because it's a place 
of meeting with God. Chaplaincy is also about counseling, getting in touch with the children at their deep level. Sometimes they are coming from home scarred, and some of the behaviors that we see coming out from the girls, lots of them are coming from home. We get in touch with parents to bring them on board to address various behavioral challenges that our girls go through while they are here at school. And they appreciate. The big thing now is confidentiality. And the girls and parents have appreciated confidentiality as seen from the chaplaincy office. So this is also part of the formation of the girls. They grow equally in being persons who can be trusted and who are able to be sober-minded when they receive information or have some knowledge that is very sensitive. The way they experience what the chaplain and his team will, will provide for them, they also replicate it amongst themselves. We promote peer counseling because it works very well amongst themselves. When the chaplain has gone home and when they are on their own in the hostels, peer counseling is very, very effective. And the chaplaincy office coordinates and also moderates and helps, especially the prefects and a group of girls in the church council to spearhead this peer counseling when they are back in the hostels. Because there is also a learning that is happening in the hostels. There is a learning that is happening in the classrooms. But also there is another learning that is happening amongst themselves in the hostels. So chaplaincy responds to all these needs. I would just like to send a message of gratitude to the administration at this school for the work that they are doing to help us empower the girls academically and spiritually. And to also thank the pupils themselves, those who have passed through St. Joseph's and those who are still at St. Joseph's Secondary School for the excellent work that they are doing. St. Joseph's has been performing very well, not only because of our teaching, but because of the, the commitment of the girls and the de dedication that they have offered to the books. And we thank them for the contribution they have done and the contribution they have done at St. Joseph's and to the country at large. We believe that the girls that we have formed at this school are going to be better citizens of our country and they are continue helping those who are vulnerable uh, at St. Joseph's Second.